If we look at the picture within the province, it, it picture it as a triangle. So at the bottom level, we have street gangs. Street gangs, less sophisticated, uh, may fracture very quickly, uh, involved in uh, less serious crimes, if you will. In At the top, we have what we call traditional organized crime. That would include your outlaw motorcycle groups, uh, Asian triads, the mafia. In the middle, we also have mid-level gangs that are slightly more sophisticated than street level, haven't been around long enough to be called traditional organized crime. What's interesting about that triangle is groups will participate with one another vertically and horizontally, but just as easy as those alliances are formed, they're quickly broken and you can have potential for violence. What we've learned is that no community is immune, that any community within this province, regardless of where it is, regardless of what size, if there's a demand for the product that these gang members and organized crime groups sell, that there will be either a member or certainly an associate within those communities trying to fill that demand. Uh, certainly we've seen a, a trend where instead of actually importing drugs, they've now begun to steal them or rip them off from each, each, each other. We've also seen a, a sort of a modification in the type of violence where they're now actually creating lists of people that they wish to eliminate. So it's constantly evolutionary.